Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bicyc Toasting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to whitelist a Project Zomboid server. First, we're going to log into our Bicyc Toasting Games panel and choose our Project Zomboid server. Next, we're going to choose the red stop button to stop our server. We are then going to go to the File Manager tab and we're going to open the .cache folder, then the server folder. Within this folder, we're going to open up the save name .ini. So whatever your save name is .ini, for us it's Project Zomboid Server .ini. And then on the open equals line, we're going to change this from true to false. Once that's finished, we're going to choose the blue save content button. We can then go back to the console, start our server, and the whitelist will now be turned on. If you'd like to learn how to add players, you can do so on the console by typing in the following, add user space the username space the password they enter with their username when they log into the server. If you would like to remove anyone from the whitelist, you can do that by typing the following, remove user from whitelist space and their username. This will then remove that player from the whitelist. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.